Hi, this is Cindy from Vintage to New with another video tutorial. I'm working here on a little diaper cover. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways to add a casing to the bottom of this leg that we will run quarter inch elastic through. Um, give me a second while I set up my machine with my bias tape. Okay, the first way I'm going to show you, I have not sewn the crotch seam yet. This is the crotch. This is my prepackaged bias tape that you can buy. Um, you're going to open it up and place it so that the fold side is up like this. See how it folds up? And the first little fold is over here. And you're going to sew along the edge right about that first fold. Now whenever you're sewing with bias tape and you're sewing on something that curves, don't pull your bias tape to fit the corner. Move, move the thing that's underneath, move the fabric underneath to make it fit. Because if you pull your bias tape when you flip it around, it's, it's not going to lay flat. And our goal is for this to lay flat. So anyway, you just keep sewing and moving that fabric all the way around till you get back to the other side of the crotch. Okay, and here we are. All right. Take your thing up, cut it off right there. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to show you, it was kind of hard for me to sew with my camera in the way, but you can see that I stitch right along the edge using a contrasting thread. You would use matching thread right along that first fold all the way down. Okay, you can see that I have sewn it along the edge like we talked about. Now it's really important that you stay right on that fold. If you go um, closer towards the middle, it will not give you a large enough casing for your quarter inch uh, elastic in the end. So, okay, here it is sewn. We're going to take it, fold it to the wrong side, and as you can see, I have a really nice edge here, and we're going to sew right along that other fold. Okay, here we are sewing along that other fold. And I'm using this contrasting thread so you can see. And just go nice and slow. Work it so it's nice and flat. If you're not comfortable just doing this uh, without pinning, go ahead and pin, but not too far ahead because it can just kind of mess you up a little bit. If you go nice and slow, you can just keep turning it by hand, making sure this is nice and level and flat a good outside seam and that you're sewing very close to that fold as you go along. And like I said before, you would use matching thread, not contrasting thread. You finish all the way to the other end and I just wanted to show you how close I am sewing to that edge. And as you can see, I'm making a nice little casing right there. So let me make it all the way to the end. Okay, this is what the front side of your garment will look like. It should be nice and flat. It should not have puckers and creases. And on the inside, it'll look something like this. And now we're ready to insert our elastic. Okay, now I'm ready to insert my elastic. Um, I've cut my elastic to the appropriate length. I put it on a safety pin and you stick it right into that little opening in your casing and you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle that safety pin through that casing. Kind of tug to get it started there and you just keep going. Now, I've not sewn the crotch seam on this particular method of adding this casing. So, what I'm gonna do is keep putting this elastic in until the casing elastic gets right to the edge. Just about there. Hold on. Sorry. All right. Oh, just a little bit more. 
Now you don't want to pull it so hard that it goes way inside, but you see that elastic is just right there at the edge. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch it by going back and forth a little bit right within the seam allowance of what the crotch will be. You need to stop that from getting pulled out. So cut it off, the threads. Okay, so that's what the one side looks like. Keep pulling the elastic through until it comes out the other side. Ta-da, there it is. All right. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to attach this elastic here. Now pull it so that your safety pin is way out away from your presser foot. All right, like that. Go forward, backward, forward, backward a couple times. Still within the seam allowance of where you're going to sew the crotch together. Trim it off. Trim off your safety pin. Ta-da. Okay, now we're going to sew our crotch seam. We're going to put our right sides together. We're going to do our 3 8 inch seam there. We're going to go back and forth across both of those pieces of elastic to kind of really tighten it in. And then we're just going to sew across the crotch like you normally would. Give a little back stitch. And There you have it. Now the reason that I have one leg done and the other not, um, I'm going to show you another technique of adding the elastic casing to a leg that you've already got your crotch seam sewn. So normally if this is the method you're going to use, you would do it on both before you sew across the crotch seam. Okay, this is the start of the second method. Um, the crotch is already sewn, and so I want to add this casing using my um, bias tape. So fold the end up. In sewing, you never want to have any raw edges when you're finished. So if you fold that edge up, get it under here, and begin sewing just like you did before, right along that fold. And you're going to sew all the way around till you come back to where your fold is. And I'll show you. Okay, I have sewn clear around um, and I'm approaching back to where I started. Here's the fold from where we started. Take your bias tape, lap it over, cut it off, leaving yourself enough to fold this edge back so that it um, just meets up. That's a little bit too long. You don't want it too long. Makes it hard to get your safety pin through. Okay, match it right up to the edge. Folded edge to folded edge. Sew right over like that. So now what you have is you have a nice folded edge here and a nice folded edge here. Then we're going to turn it to the to the inside like we did before. We're going to make sure all of those little folds are nice and neat. All right. Okay. We're just going to keep sewing around. And you would complete sewing all the way back around to the, to the crotch side again. But I just want to show you what we have now is folded side to folded side and this little opening here where we can put our safety pin in. Okay, here we are. You can see that you have two folded ends right there. We're going to take our safety pin and we're going to stick it right in that one side pull it in and wiggle it through just like we did before. Okay, I've got the safety pin clear back around to the to where we started. Now you do have a fold right here, so if your safety pin gets caught in that fold, push it to the back, just keep wiggling and be patient and you'll get it. That time it worked perfectly fine for me. Um, this time we want to stop pulling our elastic while we still have two ends out. All right, 
We want to get it so we don't have any twists in our elastic. Come up to our sewing machine, lay them flat, one on top of each other. And we want to attach these two ends together. And the way I do it is just go up and back and forth and back and forth. Make sure it's firmly attached. And cut my threads. Then just take it and the magic happens when you just pull it nice and tight. Your elastic goes into the casing and there's that little hole right there. Um, sometimes I like to just give it a little zigzag right there to kind of hold it closed and I can go through the elastic. It's not going to hurt anything. And with matching thread you really won't even be able to tell that that's there. Now you're asking why why are there two different ways or why would you show me two different ways of doing this? If you put the elastic in um, after you have sewn the crotch, there's not much of a bump right here. It's pretty smooth. If you do it this way, it's easier, quicker, but you can see there's kind of a, a large bump right there. So it just depends on what you want to do and how you want to do it. They both work really well. The main thing I wanted to show you is how to put your bias tape right sides together, sew along that first seam, flip it over, sew close to the second fold. Once you learn this technique, you will use it on so many different things and it's very quick and easy and it just gives a very nice professional result. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until later.